We need to discuss who we are as a nation, uh, talk about the freedoms that we have, the rights that we have, and how those might be used in a responsible way. That was Attorney General Eric Holder after the school tragedy in Newtown last week. And earlier today, President Obama pledged to push through new gun laws without delay. But where are Holder and the Obama administration when it comes to the guns that fell into the hands of Mexican drug cartels and other criminals? Because we are now learning that a fast and furious firearm has been tied to the death of Mexican beauty queen Maria Susana Flores Gamaz, who was killed in a shootout in northern Mexico in late November. So let's get this straight. The same State Department of Justice that uh, allowed hundreds of weapons to fall in the hands of kidnappers and drug dealers and criminals, they're now going to consider taking away guns from law-abiding citizens? If that's not pure hypocrisy, I don't know what is. Here with Reaction, Fox News contributor Michelle Malkin. So we gave, our government, the Obama administration gave guns to kidnappers, criminals, drug cartels, murderers, these weapons show up killing border agents, but now they're going to lecture America on gun control. I got this straight? Yeah, I, I think that's the honest national conversation on guns and gun violence that we need to have, and it has to be thorough and it has to be complete. And it does have to incorporate um, some honest criticism of this administration's own culpability in bloodshed. Uh, you're talking about at least 2,500 AK-47 semi-automatic assault weapons that were walked across the border with the um, knowledge and assent and consent of, of this government. It was a state-sponsored criminal enterprise. And hundreds of Mexican men, women, and children, in addition to two border agents, and untold other innocent victims, including this latest one involving um, the Mexican beauty pageant um, winner, um, very young, innocent girl who was basically used as a human shield. Uh, and now you have the same people who were in charge of that program tasked with telling Americans domestically uh, how to control their own guns. It's rather galling. So Fort Hood is workplace violence. Fast and furious, we give guns and we don't track them to murderers. And now all yeah. of a sudden we're going to have a discussion, even though not one law that is being proposed currently, not one, would have prevented yeah. this tragedy in Connecticut. None of this yeah, seems to make right. sense. But, but the media is now running with this, fixated on this. They're pushing the agenda. And it appears the president is, is going forward. Will the Republicans hold the line on this one? I hope not. There's been a lot of uh, depressing capitulation on the part of the Republicans in Washington, Washington D.C., not just on fiscal issues, but a lot of these core issues as well. And uh, I know we don't have a lot of time, but I do just want to take off the political pundit hat for a second and talk as a parent because every American parent in this country is horrified by what happened on Friday. And this is the first time I've been on the air since it happened. And I have to say a lot of the political noise that we've heard has just been so unhelpful. Um, and clearly it is a human impulse to want to tell your own kids, I've got a 12 and a 9 year old, that you can uh, do everything in your power to make sure that it, it doesn't happen again. But evil exists in this world. Uh, human conceit um, throughout human history, of course, um, seems to pretend that we can prevent the sometimes unpreventable. And when you take that impulse that you need to do something and you turn it into a political football, what you get is more harm than good. This impulse to agitate and legislate and regulate when the history shows and the reality of this particular situation shows uh, that the, all of the gun gun control legislation in the world wouldn't have stopped this madman. Connecticut already has an assault weapons ban, and we need politicians for once to just stop, shut up, and think before they act recklessly again. Well, I said, Please? I said very much. The, well, I said very much the same thing um, in Monday's commentary on this program, Michelle. Very, very similar comments. And if we're going to have a national discussion, let's have it about mental illness. Let's have it about parenting. Let's have it about, are we allowed to discuss values and how values yes. are not discussed in school and we remove, does that mean we can now, in this part of this discussion, discuss God in the classroom? Um, is sure. that and fair what about, or, or it's right. only a limited and discussion? 
Right. And also, what about the 446 children in Chicago who died because of gun violence, primarily gang-related violence in Chicago, the hometown of Barack Obama? All right. Uh, Michelle, thanks for being with us. Appreciate it.